crafters. Well, it's time for another day of uh, Sean Wars Adventures. So what's going on here, hey? Well, if I can get uh, this view here. Perfect. Okay, so I've been busy. I've been kind of playing this game. I have a copper saw and a copper pickaxe now. I figured out how to make copper, which was amazing. And I'm going to show how to gold pan in this episode. And we're also going to build kind of, or start to build our new house area that I want to kind of work on. And it's raining outside, so hopefully I got the sound set down to a, a comfortable level. And off we go. So these berries have been producing, or these uh, berries, what am I saying? These bushes have been producing. Um, the last see like the plum blackberries snowberries there's a plum tree that I found over back over in the left there and so it's it's down there somewhere uh, we're gonna go down okay so I've also been going back and forth to like I lit up a path there to where I get water I've also been doing a little bit of panning which is neat and that's what we're going to show. And that's how you get your first, you know, very few metals. I have run around and I have you gathered. Ooh, it's still dark. I forgot about that. I have gathered. And it does not work as you expect it to. Yeah, I'm just whacking with my spear. Ooh, that's not working. Let's see if I help with the axe. Ooh, that's better. Ah, it's too dark. Yeah, I need to make new weapons. This is terrible. Okay, so obviously we can't cut when it's raining here. <laughs> oh man, this is so funny. Okay, I think I, I think it should be safe here. Let's make some. Uh, let's just make axes. It doesn't seem to work too well against anything else. Those javelins suck, so... <laughs> ah, this is going to be tough, actually, to show you guys if it's raining. So... Let's see here. Let's see how badly it is again. If I get my ass kicked, I'll come back. Okay, so basically, we run down to the water here. Oh, we're just going to go straight there. Okay, might be bright enough now. Maybe it went when there's still some creatures. Okay, good. Uh, it's starting to get late in the season here in the game. And if we look, oops, wrong button. If we look into here, see we're in late summer, we're going into uh, fall, and then we'll be into winter, which is gonna be interesting. It'll be our first winter. This is my little clay pit. And over here, let's pick these up. Because these, I found you can turn into cobblestone, which then you can use. So let's light up under here, actually. Let's put a torch underneath this tree. Just so there's no baddies that spawn. Okay. And I've been uh, using the, the gold pan. Uh, here we go. There's my water source. Let's go down here. Uh, actually, let's go over here. So... But gold panning is kind of interesting, it's kind of tricky. You basically have to find a spot, so for example, if I go here. Yeah, okay, let's dig this out. What you're going to see is you can see water moving in here. And we're going to place our, where is it? Let's see, we got dirt, we got gravel. Fire starter, put the gold pan in there. Oh, there we go. So here we go, we're going to basically right click to load it, and right click, and I just hold... And I keep doing that until it's empty and until either the gravel's gone or it tells me that there's no more resources here to, to find. And you just keep doing this and hopefully, let's see here, hopefully what you'll see show up in one of my empty slots there is some copper or something so that... Uh, we can at least do our copper tools and then progress into the bronze and so forth and so on. 
So yeah, this is exciting. Uh, I made the saw first because it's one of the, I guess the most important. It's what allows you to build your chests. It allows you to, to become civilized, right? So yeah, so you definitely the, the saw was the first one I built. And then I, I decided to do the pickaxe because maybe I wanted to do some expansion to our place. You dig into the hill maybe. And then I realized, you know what? Uh, what's the positioning here? We, oh, screenshot. <laughs> we are actually at minus 9,000 Z. Well, my understanding in this game is that the further you get away from zero, the colder it gets. So which means that we're actually pretty close to the tundra. <laughs> which is probably what's north of us where we kind of spawned into. Which is okay, which is alright. So, you know, we've, we've been able to survive here in this kind of climate. And so I think what's going to happen is I'll be, be building some tools and whatnot out of, uh, out of everything. So, well, out of everything, what am I saying? So I'll be building a set of tools out of probably most likely copper because it's the first resource and we're going to relocate and find a new place, I think. We're still going to use this place as a base, why not? But, you know, a reason to travel, right? That's what's going to happen. So I think that's what we're going to do there. So, so basically I've been going up and down this, this river Gold panning and looking for for resources. It is raining and I don't like to be out in rain. I don't know why. Well, I <laughs> never mind. I do know why. It's, it's late fall, or I mean, it's late summer. So what happens usually in summertime or closer as you get closer to winter? You get more precipitation. And so voila. I do plan on planting crops at some point. I do have a bunch of seeds. I just don't know exactly how that's all going to work. <laughs> that's I'm just trying to think how that will potentially happen. Um, and so that's what got me thinking about moving and finding a better place. Because I think if we get closer to the equator, we'll, f we'll be able to find uh, probably more stable areas. But maybe still some precipitation but not too much I imagine because some of the plants uh, don't require too much and then if it gets too much then they don't grow which is kind of interesting so I was just kind of looking up what uh, what farming entailed and it looks fun uh, plus you need a hole um, I did build a stone hole because I don't think the stone one is good enough it doesn't let you switch uh, between the different modes so, so from that one, I think I'll get a copper one. Hopefully, that will allow us to do what we need to do. Let's get another tree here. I've been kind of chopping trees down. I want to build too. Crap. Oh, I've been chopping these trees down and planting them as I'm going. You kind of, yeah. I think we need like a scythe to to hit the leaves to get a better chance of getting saplings. Is at this rate, eventually this whole area will be treed out. So you don't seem to get more trees back. Sometimes you do, but I think it might, it might depend on the sea. Oh, 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 sun's going down, so I'm glad we're heading back. <laughs> uh, did I pick up? Oh, yeah, I did pick up. See, there are, so there are saplings. Let's, let's replace that. I've basically been planting these. I got some frame rate issues for some reason. Not sure why. Um, potentially it could be the game. Potentially it's recording. So I'll be right back here. Okay, that was weird. I'm not sure. I think it might have been Terra Firmacraft doing some stuff. Just with the changes uh, potentially. So we got some time here. Uh, sun's going down awfully fast. So what I've been doing is I've been kind of placing dirt here. Uh, the dirt that I've collected, I've been placing it and putting it down because this is where I want to build potentially. But I need a flat space and so this is how we achieve that. 
And then I've been kind of digging these up and moving them. Uh, doop, doop. Okay. Let's pick some of the stuff up here. And then the grass, I've just been chopping that up here because why not we're going to need that always to for pit fires the pit kilns that we do uh, let's pick up this flower uh, yeah so all this grass here we use for the pit kilns yeah uh, these are the one of the plum trees I planted and it's kind of growing I'm not sure what this kind of tree is it's near spawn so I planted that one and then there's, of course, a tree up top there. Oh, look at that. There's some plums. And it's getting dark. So I don't like being caught out in the dark here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. See, plums. Dude, free food. <laughs> now let's make our way back. Uh, there's a way down there. I plan to explore that at some point, but not before we leave, probably. I don't know. We'll see about that. So yeah, so this is kind of just what's been brewing. Just been surviving. Working on my way, parkouring up this. Got me some ideas of, of how to make this hill look even better. <laughs> Might do some little modifications here or there. So we can parkour. And look at that, that looks like a, a new moon. It's all covered and eclipsed. It's pretty interesting. And just, I just kind of do a quick berry check. And you can obviously see when there's berries. Oh, see? Right here, see right here, you can see that. There's no berry on that, but there's berries on those. So this is what I do. I just right-click them. And what happens is I have to go like this. Uh, here we go. That's do, do. There we go. So yeah, that's what I do. There's enough food here to feed somebody, so if I up and go, I'll probably take some of them. Now, potentially none of them, because we should find more if we travel. Um, I'll be traveling in that direction. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to climb up this hill here and put some torches on the way up. Just so that way, when I come back to this area, I'll be able to, to find my way back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and other than that, it's been a hectic week for me. I've been trying to record, trying to find time, but I've also had graphical issues with Minecraft, which I fixed with my drivers, blah, blah, blah. That was a whole bunch of fun. But yeah, everything is working out all right. I still need to make a bed, so that way we have a spawn point. I do have the hide for that. I just, I put that away, I think. Is it? Yeah, right here. I have the hide for that. So, so potentially, yeah. So potentially, uh, uh, I'll be able to make a bed with that, and and then we'll be able to travel and go on our way. So yeah. So I, I thank you all for watching. Thank you all for sticking through with it. Oh, one more. <laughs> and I'm gonna wave my knife. You all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again.